All right, everyone, we're back with the CB750. We've got some clip-on handlebars, got the regulator here, and we're gonna be digging back into this bike, trying to get this thing actually running. So finishing off the wiring, getting everything wired up, installing the carbs that we cleaned up and made sure they're all good to go. And um, first objective is to get this bike running and get all the wiring completed. We got a whole Frankenstein bit of wiring here, but check this out. Nice work. So we got the motor to turn over. So this is our wiring harness from the M unit. And then we also pulled in a bunch of the wiring harness from the stock factory harness, enough to get basically the whole starter solenoid system and ignition system working. And um, it turns over, which is perfect. I don't know if we have spark yet. Do we know if we have spark? I haven't checked it yet. So we gotta check spark, see if we got that, and then we'll put give it some fuel and see if we can get this energy to turn over and run. No and then yeah, if you can uh It runs. It runs. How good to know that your wiring actually worked. So we know that the wiring works and the bike runs. And now that that stage is done and we know that the motor works, we feel confidence kind of stripping everything down. And we're gonna have to do a lot of the wiring in the final stages anyway. So we're probably gonna leave it like this, take it all out and get to the frame stuff, finish off this whole seat mount area, battery box, get the rear swing arm back on, make sure all that's mechanically sound and everything like that, and get into the stages of just making sure all the frame is good to go. That way we can powder coat it all, get that done, and then do a final assembly where everything's gonna go back together for good. So we've already got a bunch of these tubes bent, main hoop and some bends um, from before and now we gotta get them sorted so that they actually get in there. So we're gonna cut these down to size. This is gonna kick up like that and then it'll go to the hoop around and then we gotta work on our pieces to come down here for the support. Looks pretty sweet.
So Cal's gonna be running the same style tail light that I had in my bike, the recess into the rear bar. So I started by making this little housing to house the light, and then it's gonna sit inside the back hoop of the seat, and we'll cut a hole for that and weld that right in so that'll sit nice and flush. Okay, rear tail light is done, welded in there, at least the housing for it. Um, so we will still have to grind this down a little bit, but at least it's welded in. And most of the pieces are all there for the rear subframe and the seat mounting. But we need to work on um, this battery tray, and then we'll also need to work on some sheet metal that's gonna go in and fill that whole gap underneath um, before we start on the actual seat itself. So the frame is pretty much all welded up. Um, we just put some primer on it for now. We'll have to clean up the welds and do everything when we do a final strip down. But the next step to work on is the seat. So we put a piece here for kind of like a rear latch or to hook onto for the back of the seat. We're gonna build basically like a spine um, that'll be out of metal. And then we can lay down fiberglass for the whole seat pan and everything like that. So first is working out the latching mechanism and basically the spine for the seat.
Okay, so the shape of the bike is coming along. It's been a bit of a slow process because we're working on it along with like a whole bunch of other projects here in the shop and we kind of just do it one of our shop nights in the week. Um, but it's really coming along well and I think the subframe kind of suits the bike um, and the lines of the bike. It makes the whole bike look super long and low. Um, I think it's pretty cool. And then we made this seat pan um, out of some fiberglass or the base of the seat with the metal spine in there, which basically hooks underneath here and then goes into some hooks there just off a standard motorcycle hook. Um, what else? So next thing is basically we want to get this whole bike driving as is. Then we'll do a final disassembly and make it all pretty. So we've got to work on chain and sprocket set up so we've got the single sided swing arm so we've got to um, see how true and straight that is or if, this, if we have to space out the sprockets um, we're gonna have to do gas tank put a proper gas cap on here we've got to do brakes we've got to finish off the wiring um, and get all this back together so that's going to be next um, and then hopefully we can have this bike on the road for the summer mm -hmm. 